good morning not good morning bitch it is definitely the afternoon Good morning friends, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Nyla. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. So, today is Sunday, September 12th. It is 10.14 in the morning. Today is Sharabia's birthday. Today is also Harmony's baby shower. So. Sharabia is in Virginia, so we won't be having a little celebration for her later on today because she's not here. Um, but I am going to Harmony's baby shower later. I have to wrap her gift. It's downstairs. And then after I come back from her baby shower, I need to pack. So I'm going back to Chapel Hill tomorrow. And the reason that I'm going back is because my lease ends in my apartment at the end of September, September 30th. That's the day that I move out. So I really only have like two and a half weeks to pack up the rest of my shit um, and move. Lots to do in these next two and a half weeks to prepare for moving out of my apartment and then I'll be coming back to Charlotte and I'll be here until probably late or end of November um, because I cannot move into my apartment now until late November so that's either in my mind they'll give me a date once it's closer but in my mind that's either like right before Thanksgiving or it's right after Thanksgiving um, so if it's right before Thanksgiving, then obviously I'll be driving up there around that time. But if it's after Thanksgiving, I probably won't be driving up there until like December. So, or like the very last days of November. So yeah, that is where we are right now. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to go make some breakfast. I'll bring my camera with me to the baby shower and I will... Um, record a little bit while I'm there so I will insert some footage but then if y'all don't hear from me again after that I'll talk to you tomorrow Skippy, say hi. Look at the camera. Say hi, sweetheart. Look at the camera. Look right here. You don't want to say hi to the people? Okay. Good morning, beautiful people. Ooh. Oh, my glasses are dirty. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, You saw yesterday that I was at Harmony's baby shower, and I inserted a few clips, but not too many because it was a very intimate moment. But today, it is Monday. It is... September 13th, 808 in the morning, and I'm at the gas station. My car actually just, it just finished pumping gas. I am on my way back to Chapel Hill. This is a little bittersweet. My lashes look a little crazy. They need to be filled. Um, a little bittersweet because it's like my last trip from Charlotte to Chapel Hill, and then when I move out, it will be my last trip from... <laughs> Chapel Hill to Charlotte so it's getting real moving out of my apartment um so yeah I just finished pumping gas I gotta figure out an alternate way to get onto 485 um because the way I normally go there's too much traffic and it's because of school and I just didn't take that into account leaving this early so yeah I will check in with y'all when I get back to my apartment and yeah I will talk to y'all later hey y'all back in my apartment in Chapel Hill 
<sighs> Sorry. I'm hot right now. I'm also hungry because I didn't eat before I made this drive, but I'm hot because I had to carry all my suitcases upstairs. I had to carry two bags of trash out because I had to throw away the stuff in my refrigerator and my freezer because when I wasn't here, there was a power outage. And I don't know how long it lasted, but there were a few things in my fridge, although my fridge was cold when I came back. Um, there were a few things in my fridge that were spoiled, so I had to throw them away. And then in my freezer, I could tell that some of the meat had defrosted and then uh, froze again um so I threw that shit out because I'm not gonna eat it I also have a sensitive stomach so I'm not playing that game so now I have to go buy groceries I already had to do some grocery shopping but it was just gonna be like for my coffee my creamer apples turkey bacon and like some vegetables that was it but now I have to buy things to eat for the next two weeks because I had to throw out everything that I had already bought um, which is kind of fucking annoying, but whatever. It's out of my control. Can't do anything about it now. Having breakfast slash lunch. Just came back from the store. I will show y'all what I got from the grocery store once I'm done eating. But I'm having PDQ for lunch. I got some chicken tenders, fries, a soda. Not going to finish the whole thing because I don't drink soda that much anymore. And honey mustard. So good. I just got done eating, so let me show y'all what I got from the store. So, from Trader Joe's, that's in the freezer, we got some salmon. I have another pack in the fridge so I can cook either later or tomorrow. I may not be hungry later because of how late that I ate, so um, and I got a lot of food because I was really hungry and I had a headache. So I may not make the salmon later. I might make it tomorrow if I don't make it today. But there is another pack in the fridge. I have a ribeye steak. I got some drumsticks and some chicken wings. And I got their hash browns. They are so good. Then the turkey bacon. There's three packs there. There's one in the fridge. Those are from Wegmans. The fish sticks are from Target and... The biscuits are from Walmart. Then in the fridge, we got some sweet cream creamer for my cold brew coffee and 2% milk. This was from Wegmans. I got some stock cold brew from Walmart. I normally get it from Target. And if I can't get it at Target, I'm able to get it at Harris Teeter. Ooh, excuse me, but Target didn't have any and I was already in Durham, which is why I went to the Walmart that was in Durham, but I really don't like going to Walmart. Anyways, got my crack. I have another bottle up here. We got two cartons of eggs. Each are a dozen, so I have 24 eggs. From Wegmans, I eat eggs basically every single day for breakfast, so I go through them very quickly, so that's why I like to get this two-pack from Wegmans. I have some Gala Apples from Wegmans. Their Gala Apples are my favorite. I've tried them from Trader Joe's. They're okay. I've tried them from Target. I don't like them. And I've tried some other types of other kinds of apples and I don't really like them. Not raw. Like cooked like for like some cinnamon apples or in pie it's delicious but like raw i don't really like them but these gala apples from wegmans i don't know what they do to them or where they source them from but they're delicious there's this other store sprouts they have good gala apples as well but wegmans are better i got some tomatoes from trader joe's broccolini from trader joe's shaved brussels sprouts from trader joe's three bell peppers and two red onions from trader joe's here is the other pack of salmon. I got some vanilla Greek yogurt from Wegmans. And then I got some turkey bacon, also from Wegmans. That was from the four packs that I bought. That turkey bacon is fucking expensive. I think it's like six something a pack. But it's okay. I just buy that shit like it's cracked because it really does taste good. And yeah. No one's turkey bacon really compares. Walmart is a very close second. Their Sam's Choice turkey bacon, delicious. But Wegmans is top tier. And then while I was at Target, I got Skipper some dog treats. Because he needed some. Oh, I got some canned chicken breast for his food. So there's three more cans of those in the pantry. And then I got myself some tuna fish so I can make for lunch during the week. He also likes tuna fish in his food, but I'm gonna give him the chicken first. And then I needed some 
mouthwash and some more of my floss so I got that from Target and that is it I look so fucking crusty right now I've been I have I was gonna say I've been unproductive today that's not true I haven't actually worked today um because I wasn't expecting to have to buy a whole bunch of food for my refrigerator and freezer I was only planning on making a quick run and yeah that just wasn't the case so now I'm back I'm finna go walk skipper and then I'm gonna do some actual work and unpack a little bit and relax when I say unpack it's really things are just gonna start going into boxes instead of me hanging them up especially if I know it's not anything that I'm gonna use um within like the next two months I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a box and not even try and hang it back up because that's a waste of time but yes I will talk to you guys later good morning beautiful people it is Tuesday September 14th it is almost 8 30 in the morning oh my allergies have decided they wanted to kick my ass today so we're struggling a little bit this morning we got ready brushed our teeth washed our face went to walk skipper fed him and now i am seasoning some salmon for dinner before let's tilt y'all so you can see yay before my nine o'clock meeting this morning this way it's already prepped and done for later because i'm gonna work out after I get off work and then pop these bad boys in the air fryer while I take a quick shower. Um, so I prep them now. So these salmon fillets are from Trader Joe's, which I showed y'all yesterday in my little grocery haul. I seasoned them with some pink Himalayan sea salt from Trader Joe's, some black pepper from Wegmans, and then, sorry for all the sniffling, I can't help it. And then some Old Bay seasoning, the hot one, which I tried for the first time a few weeks ago and it is delicious. So that is what I seasoned the salmon with. Now we're going to put it in a baggie and then we're going to put some lemon juice on the salmon and just let it marinate in the fridge and it's going to be spectacular oh i really hate having allergies i'm gonna wash this cutting board because i'm gonna use it later when i chop up some peppers and onions to go along with my salmon and i'll probably have another vegetable um and then i'm going to get to work i have a few meetings today and I have some documents I need to work on, so I probably will not check in with y'all until later today before my workout. Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, brief little intermission because I low-key started my work for my workout and I forgot I kind of wanted to record it and include it in this vlog. So, um, I am about to work out. I haven't worked out in like, I think like two months, two and a half months. I've been slacking, but you know, we're getting back on track. That's what... This part of this week is, is getting back on track. So with that, I am doing a workout at home. I'm following a video from Caroline Gervon. I will link her down below. Um, she has like a whole bunch of different like YouTube series um, and playlists on her channels. I found her from Kayla Cake. So if you watch her or follow her, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, she just mentioned in her previous vlog. So I was like, hmm, let me try that. I've done Chloe Ting before. She's okay, but I wanted to try her, um, and I looked at her Epic 1 and Epic 2 workout program, so I'm starting with Epic 1. She has a whole playlist. I think it's like 60 days or something like that, so we're going to try and see how I like it. So let me get back to my workout. I look very much crusty look at my hair but it's fine 
I just finished my first workout. Um, doing Caroline Gervon's Epic One series. I like her. I fucking look like a mess. I like her. I enjoyed that workout. I did a warm up first. Then I did the workout. I think the workout itself is like 45 minutes or whatever. And then she does like a cool down at the end. Um, so yeah, I like her. So I will be working out again tomorrow. Are you coming soon to me? No parking in LA. So I'ma send an Uber to your place. Is my secret safe? Safe with just you and me. We can't leave a trace. This is my favorite mistake. Oh, look in my eyes. Can you find the lies? terrible vlogger um but i'm back on the camera today is thursday september 23rd it is 8 21 um i have a meeting in nine minutes but i just wanted to come on here and acknowledge the fact that i have been a bad vlogger this week but nothing has really been going on i've just been working today i think i'm gonna do a little packing later so that's why i thought that i would take out the camera so i will probably have some footage in here of me packing today um maybe we might do a little like cook with me segment later too when i make dinner we'll see how i'm feeling but i'm definitely going to go through more of my clothes and pack today so that it makes saturday a little bit easier for me and also my parents when they're here not that it's like you know a lot a lot a lot but if i can do a little bit before they come that would be helpful so that is what i'm planning on doing today after i am done working and i think that that is really it yeah i haven't really done anything i went to dinner on monday i meant to bring y'all with me i forgot tuesday I did nothing but work. I like mentally checked out of work early both Tuesday and Wednesday because of some meetings. I went and got myself some Tillamook ice cream so I could feel better. Um, and yeah, I haven't really been doing anything else except for that. So today, like I said, I have a meeting in a little while. I also have another meeting at like 10 30 and those are the only two meetings i have today so i'm gonna do a little bit of work and then i'm gonna be done with work and then i'm gonna get to packing some more stuff and that is when i will talk to y'all again so until then see you later hello friends we are back it is still thursday and sorry i was reading an email on my phone it is 4 18 i'm about to start prepping for dinner i just came back from harris teeter so i could get some potatoes to make with my chicken wings and then i'm also gonna make some broccolini um so that is the plan and y'all are gonna cook with me a little bit um i do need to respond to this email first so let me do that and then i'll be back to start cooking
Today is Friday, September 24th. It is 9-11. I just got off a 8.30 meeting call. It ended at 9. And I am prepping breakfast, having some oatmeal and some turkey bacon and maybe a cold brew coffee. Um, we'll see if I want that now or later. But definitely having some oatmeal and turkey bacon because the bitch is hungry. Um, and I didn't have time to make anything to eat before my 8.30 meeting. I'm going to eat. I have a dentist appointment at 10.20 um, to keep my teeth nice, clean, and pearly white. So I have a dentist appointment at 10.20. Hopefully that won't take more than like an hour, hour and a half. Then I have a meeting to run at, I think it's 1 o'clock. My parents are on their way here right now. They're going to get here probably while I'm still at the dentist. My mom has an appointment here at 12.45. And then later on tonight, I'm probably going to do some packing. It is a packing weekend because this is my last weekend in this apartment. And I'll probably get a little sentimental and come on camera like next Wednesday probably. <sighs> um to like reminisce and talk about this and me thinking more about actually like leaving North Carolina and moving because I I did not want to move here in the first place in North Carolina but I didn't have a choice right because I was a kid hold on letting Skipper out in the back in not the backyard on my balcony go ahead Skippy go outside Go outside, sweetheart. Come in. It's nice and cool out here today. You have fun being nosy, okay? Back to my spiel hold on let's get in some in some good lighting okay so obviously not obviously because everyone doesn't know this but i did not want to move to north carolina but i was a kid i was 12 years old um eventually i did learn to love it and i have made my lifelong friends here um so this is my home um, North Carolina is my home. New York is still my home. I was born there and I was raised there for 12 years of my life before moving here. So that will always be home too. But this is home. This is where I went to middle school, went to high school, went to college, went to grad school. Like this is home for me. So um, yeah, but I always knew that probably whenever I finished grad school, professional school, figured that shit out and now we have because we've graduated, um, that I probably wasn't going to stay here. And when I did my job searching, I did um, look for a few positions in North Carolina just to be safe. I like to have backup options um, because I'm a realist. But I did apply to most of my jobs out of state, and that was on purpose because I knew that I didn't want to stay here. And I do think that sometimes, and it's not for everybody, and I'm very introverted, so we're going to see how this goes. Um, I do think that sometimes it is important to like leave um, your hometown because you get very comfortable being here. I'm not saying that there's necessarily anything wrong with that, but sometimes I do think that you need to like leave for a little while. One, I think it'll make you appreciate it a little bit more, but two, it's like it, it 
it's going to help you grow um even though that's gonna feel a little uncomfortable um it's going to help you grow and become you know a better person um and expose you to new things that maybe you wouldn't experience if you you know stayed in your hometown and where you're from and so for me um i've been here for 14 years and i felt like i wanted to experience something else i could always come back here like that's not like out of the question like i can always move back to north carolina and if i did move back i'd probably either move back to charlotte or i'd move like to durham or raleigh but most likely charlotte if i ever decided to come back to north carolina that's always an option um but for right now i do i did feel and still feel like i needed some change which is why i knew that i wanted to leave once i graduated from grad school um it's not necessarily that there's nothing for me here because my parents are here my brother is here my nephew's here my um friends are here so like there's a lot of things here um for me but i also feel like i just need to spread my wings and grow so that's my little spiel so i am very nervous about moving now that it's like becoming a real thing and like getting closer but at the same time sorry i'm turning on the microwave for my oatmeal I do think that it's going to be a good experience for me um, and I feel like it's something that I need to do now obviously if I <laughs> move and I'm there and after a while I'm feeling a little miserable or like this is not the right experience for me um, not job wise because I love my job but um, being in that space or that environment i will happily figure something out so that i can move but i don't think that's going to be the case nor am i going into it with that mindset of course it's going to be different it's going to be weird it's going to be uncomfortable um because this is a very new experience for me and yes i have been kind of on my own um for like two and a half years now since moving here for grad school like to chapel hill for grad school but i still feel like this is different because i have like a security blanket or safety net here because everything that i know is here versus when i moved to vermont i don't have that yes i have family close by i have family in boston i have family in new york like i'm not completely alone i know that and i know that i can come back here whenever i want to but it's still very different and i'm also very introverted and so it's definitely going to be a new experience a new challenge but it is something that i although i'm nervous about it i'm looking forward to but i'm gonna stop rambling now because i've been talking for almost 10 minutes I'm going to eat my food and I will talk to y'all later. Hello everyone. I did not check in with y'all. I'm eating my favorite Ritz crackers, but I am not checking with y'all. Let me finish chewing. Let me not be rude. I did not check in with y'all when I came back from the dentist. I got back at around like 11, 15, 11, 20 ish. I went and walked Skipper. While I was walking Skipper, my parents had came with Hazel. And so um, they're here. My mom's at her doctor's appointment. So obviously my father's with her. Skipper and Hazel are here. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, Hazy. Good girl. Um, so I'm babysitting two dogs. Um, Hazel's very anxious sometimes, and so she barks at the littlest of noises, and then it rolls Skipper up, and then it's too much barking, and it drives me crazy. But they're pretty chill right now. But I had a meeting at 1 o'clock. It was supposed to end at 2.30. I ended it like 11 minutes early because um, we talked about everything that we needed to talk about and I don't believe in just sitting on a call especially for zoom sitting there wasting time for the sake of wasting time we talked about a lot of important things um it was my first time meeting 
meeting leading this meeting and also meeting some of the people that were in this group and i'm taking over facilitating this group which is kind of crazy but my uh director asked me to do it um i was a little nervous but proud of myself and it went well so the meeting's over i'm done working for the day I start packing some more of my clothes because i just have to get as much shit as much shit done as possible between today and tomorrow. So y'all are gonna watch me pack and then I might check in with y'all later on tonight or I will check in with y'all tomorrow. I think I'm gonna have to drive back to Charlotte tomorrow. I don't remember if I talked about this earlier in the vlog, but I have some things I need to go home and all of this is not gonna fit between my car and my parents' car on the day that I have to move out. So I might go with them tomorrow to take some of it back. This way there's not as much stuff next Thursday when I move out. And then when I actually drive up to Vermont, a lot of this stuff is going in a U-Haul truck. So um, that's the plan of action. So I'm gonna go pack. I'll talk to y'all later on tonight or I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. So yeah. Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. And I'm way too sexy to go unprotected. And she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you. Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, think we got too sexy for that metro house. Diamond popped out, I'm gonna swallow 60,000. Section need more things in here, I like it crowded. Yeah, Holly Berry, or hallelujah. Picky poison, tell me what you do. Everybody go Good morning, beautiful people. Today is Saturday, September 25th. It is 9.01. <sighs> Just finished brushing my teeth, washing my face, doing all that great stuff that you do in the morning when you get up. Walk Skipper, fed him, and I'm actually going home today to take some things to my parents house and then I'll come back on Monday do like very very last minute packing and cleaning this apartment and then Thursday is a move out day um so I actually got a lot done yesterday my parents are home because my dad wasn't feeling well yesterday and so they decided to drive back home also I packed up a ton of shit when they were at my mom's doctor's appointment so I didn't really need their assistance that much and I didn't ask them to take anything home because they weren't feeling well so I wasn't gonna ask them to do that um but all of my clothes are packed my closet is basically empty um there's stuff in here this is hair stuff I just put it in here temporarily it's actually gonna go in a box with some of my makeup and stuff too this is coming home with me because there are wigs in here and i spent a lot of money on them so they're not going in storage um more boxes here um this is coats more coats this was uh plants and cookbooks that i had in my kitchen i was gonna see if there's anything else that i need to put in here before i close the box um uh, more kitchen stuff i need to close this box when I come back on Monday, this box can be closed. These two boxes I'm trying to take home with me today. This is another box that I packed yesterday and then I packed this other clothes box yesterday as well. 
so there really isn't a lot to do i gotta take these paintings down i need to take this mirror mirror this tv off the mount and dis uh disassemble it from the actual tv console media console i gotta pack all these appliances but i'm not doing that till wednesday because well this the toaster the knives the coffee machine i can the air fryer i'm packing last because i use it in the morning for breakfast um if there's any food in here that i'm taking home i'm gonna bring back my parents big cooler and put some ice in it so that will go in there the stuff that's in the freezer is gonna go in a separate cooler with dry ice um all of these uh food items are gonna go in a box because they're coming home with me and I had to take Skipper's painting down. I'm bringing his bowls home with me as well as his bed and his toys because I'm leaving him at my parents' house this way on Thursday. When I move out, he's not in the way when the movers are here, um, especially because I closed his crate so there's nowhere to put him and I don't want him in the way barking at people. So I was like, we'll just bring him home and let him stay there until I come back on Thursday. Um... Yeah, I have to just vacuum some things up, clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen, and yeah, we will be basically packed. I can't do anything with like the actual furniture that's still out because um, the movers are going to take care of that, wrap everything um, so it's safe and protected. They're going to do that when they arrive, and yeah, so right now I'm going to go down to my car and try and fold the seats in the back down to see if I can fit those boxes in there. Um, they're not heavy, so I feel like I should be able to essentially just like drag it. Um, and if I have to, the box is taped, so if I have to kick it down the stairs, um, I think that's fine. Um, and if the box happens to break, which I hope it doesn't, I will literally just take everything out and put it in the back of my car. It really is okay. And if I can fit anything else in my car that needs to go home, then I'll also put that in my car today because then it's less things that we have to bring back um, on Thursday when I move because we're only going to have my car and my mom's car, my parents' car. That should be more than enough space. But if I can take more things today so that there's less things to take on Thursday, I think that's what I'm going to try and do. So I'm going to go downstairs now to my car and figure this out. And I will talk to y'all when I come back from doing all of that or when it's time for me to like leave, put gas in my car, all that great shit. I'll try and set y'all up in my car, especially because side note, when I go out and I be driving and stuff, I have set up my car mount before, but I took it down because I feel like there's gotta be a more efficient way for that to sit so that my camera, cause the way that I had it, I had it up on the windshield but then it means the camera is inverted that it's upside down and then i have to flip the footage when i edit it and i don't want to do that so i'm trying to see if i can somehow get it to attach to my dashboard so that it's fine and it can literally just sit there when i am trying to record and talk to y'all and then i can just turn the camera the other way so that if I want to get some b-roll footage of me driving I can have that as well so I'm going to try and figure that out too but I will talk to y'all in a second all right y'all I took a shower and got dressed and now I am on my way to either PetSmart or Target to get Skipper a like a harness like a seatbelt for my car because I'm gonna put him in the front seat and not the back seat like I normally do because I have boxes in here so I need to try and see if I can get him a seatbelt so he can be in the front seat um but yeah, we were successful. 
and putting the boxes in here. Let me turn on the car. It's getting a little warm. Even though like it's a little cold outside, not super cold, like it was colder this morning. It is 61 now, um, but it feels a little warmer in the car because the sun is hitting the windshield, but um, oh, it's gonna blast my music. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I gotta put gas in my car and I also need to get something to eat. The sun is in the way. I also need to get something to eat. Um, so I'm gonna do all of that before coming back, getting Skipper and putting the final things in my car, and then we should be good to go. Misunderstood, so I made Had to turn Big Lotto off for a second. Um, <laughs> um, our Petco trip was a success. I got the dog, the, the dog harness. Can I speak today? The dog harness. So essentially with this one, you attach the seat belt first and then you put this around the seat belt like so. You create a loop and then you attach this part to focus the back of the dog harness. So I'm going to use this with Skipper when we're on our way home. Before I go back to my apartment though, I wanna go to Brugger's and get a bagel. Um, and then I need to go put gas in my car and then I'm gonna make a cold brew coffee before I go. Good morning, beautiful people. Actually, I don't even know if it's technically still the morning anymore. Let's check. It is still the morning. It is Saturday, September 26th. Not Saturday. It is Sunday, September 26th. 11 19 a.m in the morning welcome back to another day on this very long vlog that you're gonna end up watching <clears throat> so what happened yesterday i came to charlotte i was starting to edit this current vlog that you are watching and oh I had said that, I think I said this, I can't remember. I feel like I did say this. I was supposed to go to dinner with Sharabia last night, but then when I got here, my parents were like, oh, we're gonna order from P.F. Chang. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna eat here then. Um, but then my parents didn't feel like ordering that anymore. My dad didn't know what he wanted to eat. He's not feeling well right now. I ended up going to get my mom something to eat before I went out. So I did end up going out to eat with Sherb and we went to Tupelo Lo Honey um, in Uptown in Charlotte. Um, very good, I inserted clips before this so you guys saw what I ate. I had some fried chicken, dark meat with their, it's not a sweet, the name I don't think is like sweet and spicy, but it's like a sweet and spicy like honey glaze. I'm pretty sure it's like sriracha mixed with honey. I think that's what the description is. It is delicious. I've had it like on their chicken sandwich, but I decided to just get the fried chicken, which I've had before. 
um, but I didn't want this sauce like already tossed onto the fried chicken. I wanted to be able to control it, so I asked for it on the side. And then I had some mac and cheese, and I also had a biscuit. I didn't eat the whole thing. I just had the other half for breakfast this morning. It was delicious. Um, it was a biscuit with some like whipped butter and blueberries. It was so good. So I just ate that. I'm gonna go back to editing this vlog because there's a lot of footage. Tomorrow I am driving back to Chapel Hill <clears throat> in the morning and then I'll work in the afternoon. That This will like officially be the last run um, from Charlotte to Chapel Hill. And then on Thursday will be the last official run from Chapel Hill back to Charlotte. So bittersweet. We're not gonna get sentimental right now because <sighs> yes, I am an emotional person, but I really don't like being emotional and I don't like to cry. And also it's not officially, officially time to like move to Vermont yet. So we're going to save the sappiness for later. We're not going to get into it right now. So yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Good morning. Not good morning, bitch. It is definitely the afternoon. It's because I'm used to picking up my camera in the morning whenever I'm gonna start vlogging. Wow. Yeah, bitch, it's definitely the afternoon. It is Wednesday, September 29th. It is 2.50. I look very fucking crusty. I just got off a meeting looking very fucking crusty, but whatever. I chew like a cow sometimes. Um, last day in my apartment. I move out tomorrow, which is September 30th. Crazy, crazy fucking crazy. So, let's show y'all the progress. Linen closet is empty. There's an echo in my closet because there's no clothes in here. <gasps> so sad. My closet is empty. My bathroom, not quite yet. I gotta clean in here, that's why it's not empty and this is gonna get packed. It is starting to get an echo in here, that is so crazy. Let me turn this light off. I gotta vacuum in here, but I'm not officially vacuuming until they move everything out of here. Um, boxes in the living room, took the paintings down. More boxes. I showed y'all suitcases in my room, more boxes, more boxes. Kitchen is a little bit um, more empty. I'm about to pack this stuff that's out. I used it this morning. I'm done with it now. These dishes in the sink, I'm washing by hand and drying them so I can pack them. There's nothing in the dishwasher. Once I'm done packing everything in here, I'm gonna clean the kitchen. Then I'm gonna clean the bathroom, take down the shower curtain. I took down Skipper's painting. I took down every hook and command strip that I had in here. Um, so yeah, everything is basically done. After I clean, I am going to separate whatever's going in my personal vehicle and what I'm putting in storage so that the movers do not take the wrong items tomorrow. And what else? My dad is coming later so that he doesn't have to drive up tomorrow morning because the movers are coming um, before noon tomorrow. And yeah, so that is it. It is starting to feel a little bit more real even though I can't move move until like November. But the fact that I'm moving out of my first adult apartment, um, although my apartment in Vermont is going to feel a little different because like that's like my big girl apartment I feel like with my big girl job but still um this was my first apartment and I fell in love with this place when I saw it online and then when I came up here to go to UNC for their admitted students day I came and toured it right after and I did my application I got approved like in a few days after I did it. Um, and so yeah, I already knew I was gonna live here. I saw it online, I said, yeah, that's the one. I did the same thing for Vermont, but we cross, we're cross, crossing our fingers that we're actually gonna like it when we're there because they're still building it. But 
um i do know what the outside of the building looks like and i'm very pleased with it so yeah um yeah a little sad a little sentimental i'm losing my own space for like a month and a half which kind of sucks i do enjoy like spending time with my parents and going home it's just like ever since i moved out though and got my own space i'm very much used to having my own space it's, i don't have to ask for permission or anything when i'm at my parents house bitch i'm grown um so there's that but it is just very different like being home and then like coming back to your own space but i don't got my own space to come back to until i move move to vermont so yeah we're not gonna get sentimental there will be no crying especially ain't no bitch finna cry on camera i feel like i'm good right now i don't actually think i'm really going to cry until it is time to drive to vermont when that happens or at a dinner if i still decide to have one before i before i move i feel like that's probably when i'm gonna cry right now i'm not gonna cry it is a little sentimental but you know here we are so let me stop rambling let me go pack this shit up let me get to cleaning and i'll talk to y'all tomorrow good morning friends it is <sighs> finally thursday september 30th it is 7 46 in the morning it is move out day from my north carolina apartment <sighs> i just took my wardrobe box downstairs and put it in my car we are going to try and put these boxes in my car and my dad's car these are very light some of these are light these are like the heavier ones but my dad went to get something for our dolly so that we can put the boxes on it and secure it to the dolly and take it downstairs so we're trying to do all of this before the movers come at like around 10 and they're going to take everything else for us and yeah i'm already hot and sweating from taking shit downstairs this is my exercise for the day we're done after we put all this shit in the car um so yeah that is what we're doing i will talk to y'all again after the movers leave probably and the apartment is empty and then we'll do like an empty apartment tour slash bye and yeah so i will talk to y'all a little later the apartment is officially empty. This is my kitchen. This was my dining slash living room space. This is my bedroom. This is my linen closet. This was my regular closet. And then this was the bathroom. Saying goodbye to my first apartment. A little sad, but on to bigger and better things. Um, but that is it for this vlog. We are going to go turn the keys now. And then I'm going back to Charlotte until whenever I can move to Vermont. So thank you all for watching this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I will see y'all in the next one.